coming up next on today's episode of Eye for an Eye. She called me, like she said, and no, then... No, you called me. Look at these stains. He was just like that from the very beginning. My rug was not in that condition. The guy came in and smacked the register. In the court system, justice is not always just. That's why they bring their disputes here. Real people, real problems, real revenge. Justice is eye for an eye. Thank you. Oh my gosh, what a great crowd. I'm Kato Kalen, and welcome to this edition of Eye for an Eye. A treasured Persian rug captured during Desert Storm has been put through the ringer by Miracle Cleaners. Our plaintiff claims that the defendant got rough when they called their attention to it. The defendant says the carpetbagger is trying to pull the rug over the eyes of the court. Two customers came. I think that I think that's a couple, basically. And there is some teamwork scam thing going on. He did so much false advertisement in the first place and promising about this miracle worker. He didn't work a miracle for anyone. They came in complaining about the rug that I worked on. I did my very best. He was the one that made the phone calls to us, begging us in the beginning not to take him to court because he made the mess up. Two days from now, I'm pretty sure they'll be in jail. We're going to countersuit him because he's so full of lies, he don't even know how to sue anybody. This is the case of clean up your act. Let's see if Judge Extreme Akeem can make this carpet fly. All rise! <laughs> You're the plaintiff in this case. What's your name? My name is Taro Yamamoto. Okay, and what are you suing for? I want $300 from that guy. The guy came in and smacked the register. Do you own a company? I'm a dry cleaner. Okay, are you the owner? Uh, yes, I own uh, uh, Miracle Cleaner. Okay, Miracle Cleaners. And the sign says Miracle Cleaner. And okay. the sign is like really important, next to important to my life. You're Miss Cindy Jones, is that correct? Yes, that's correct, and Your who's Honor. And that's your husband next to you? That's my husband. You're the defendant in this case, and I see here where you're countersuing for $1,200. What's that about? I took my rug in to Mr. Tyro's cleaner, which said it was the miracle worker. And when I took my rug in, I had one stain on the rug. However, when I went to go pick the rug up, it had just totally damaged. It was not in the state or the condition that it wasn't when I first brought the rug to Mr. Okay, Tyrell. What kind of rug was it? It was a Persian rug and it was authentic. It came from the Gulf War. How did you find Miracle Cleaners to take it to? Here he advertised his breakthrough Big cleaning chagrin. technology and they, it says that they specialize in Persian rugs and they can remove stain, dirt, grease, whatever. They have this new uh, technology cleaner that they were gonna be using on the rug. Did, and you took it in there, did you give them money to clean the rug? No, I didn't give him money because they do have a sign up also say that that states that you can pay upon pickup and also he had um, another sign that said, talks about it introduces the new space age cleaning technology and it says they clean it or your money back. What else you got? And then I have the 50% off dry clean cleaning it says same day service. Well when I took my rug in it took weeks to get the rug back. I see these advertisements on this one alone. It says you're going to get stains out for good. It says that you guarantee your service. And this lady is saying that she picked up her rug and it was full of stains. I make it clean. But what they're saying is the opposite of making it clean. Did you brought the rug here today? Yes. Well, the only way we can know if it's clean, let's bring it over here. Let me see, this, see if it's got any stains. Big Sugar Ray, you're going to have to lug that thing over here. Thing stinks. God. <laughs> Look at these stains. Yeah, I'm up. aware of that. They brought it, it was just like that. Sugar Ray, move this thing. It smells. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I gotta wash my hands. 
He was just like that from the very beginning. But my rug was not in that condition when I took it to him. And he even called me over the phone and stated that he was going to try to clean the stains and that they're going to use the miracle technology and he's sure that they could get the stains out. From the professional point of view, if the rug is made by machine, it's not so tight at all. So we can't really clean it. And I cleaned the ketchup part, but that stain was from the very beginning. So what are you saying that rug's worth? Oh, it's, it's worth nothing. Well, she checked the rug out, and the value of it was $1,200. Why are you advertising that you could do this to Persian or Oriental rugs if you can't do it? I told you, Mr. Extreme Akim. I just, uh, <laughs> the rug, tight, not tight issue. Do, I want you to understand, tight or not tight. And then the rug was uh, not enough so that I could clean anything. She called me, like she said. And no, then, you called me. I did not call I you. I make hundreds of calls every no, day. I don't not. know. I'm sorry. Mr. Tyro called. He left me a message. He said, this looks like a hard stain to clean, but I'm going to go ahead and clean it. You know, and for that if I could give him a call I back. I said I'll try I my don't best. Want him to clean. Okay. So I said, okay, this is the cleaners. He's advertising this miracle working product and this cleaner with all this high techno technology stuff. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, okay, I see a lot of people going over there. It looks like a reputable company. I took my rug, and as a result, this is what Did I got. Did you read the sign when you come into what our sign? store? What sign? What sign? First of all, our store has a $7,000 sign, sign no. which says Miracle Cleaner. No, no. His signs are this small, Your Honor. Yes. You're not As answering fact, my question. As a matter of when my husband went over to confront him about the rug, he has one of his little workers to come out with the sign and hold hey, it what up. What does it say? She, miracle she, Cleaner she, what? She's what, not answering my question. What does the question. sign say? What's the, what's the relevance of signs? My, my sign says Miracle Cleaner and then with the Asian lettering, okay? And then I go in, he starts speaking then do you, Asian do you, to me. And I'm like, uh, Pablo no. Espanol. You... I'm thinking he's speaking Spanish. <laughs> I don't know what he's speaking. So he, he tends to, you know, play like he don't know what you're talking about. And then he'll get back to talking English. And he says yes with everything. Yes, I can say, I'm going to come and blow you. OK, uh-huh. Yeah. I said, uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Coming up next. How can you come in this courtroom without any evidence? It's he's crazy. fine, Your Honor. That's the decision I'm going to have to make. I'll make sushi out of you. You're watching Eye for an Eye. I took my rug in to Mr. Tyro's cleaner, which said it was the miracle worker. This thing stinks. God. They brought it. It was just like that. Eye for an Eye. Real people. Real problems. I no. said, yes, I will try my best. And I saw your rug and said I'm not responsible. And do, 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 you, do you read English? Mr. Jones, I got to get to the um, point of you um, destroying this cash register. Did you go into this place and destroy this cash register? Tell me about what Yeah, happened. that's what I wanted to talk about. When I went to the store, I asked him about the rug. What happened to the rug? My wife said she could clean it. I'm seeing your signs. You say you got this miracle thing you can clean it with. He what said, do you mean miracle thing? All right, miracle, miracle cleaning. Uh, I said, well, listen, you need to replace this rug. It stinks. It's got all type of ink. Looks like this little kids are running around the store. They probably dropped some soda or something on it. Get to the part with the cash register. I don't know what he's talking about, the cash register. Oh, you didn't destroy any cash register? No, I didn't destroy no cash register. What proof do you have there was a cash register destroyed? I'm pretty sure the video monitoring have the proof. You didn't, did you bring it in today? No. You were coming to court? What did you think? Why you do I have to yourself? go all the 24-hour monitoring thing and go all over and find his act? Well, why don't you bring the cash register? You know what? He's acting like a really nice guy before he the is. judge and everything. He is. But when he came to our store, he was like a real monster or something coming and then said, like, I'll make sushi out of you. And then no. he was like really no. bad. Your Honor, those was are his humiliating words. and no. he was bad. No, I, I really can't lying. believe this. He's lying, Your Honor. How can you come in this courtroom without any evidence that your cash register was even ruined? Well, they don't have evidence, too. You're the, suing them. You started this can lawsuit. You, can, you, can, can they prove to me that, that those things were not made by them? Well, that's the decision I'm going to have to make. I just want to add that uh, we have a huge sign at the door of my store. <laughs> Is this a mi no. miracle cleaner sign, or is this another sign? Actually, there's another sign which says, we are not responsible for the damage or loss of any kind. 
and it's a huge sign. And I and I think I brought that somewhere. Do you have that? Okay. We did not have I'm a sign. I'm getting something here. Yeah, that's Is that the sign? sign? Okay, oh, bring my goodness. Big Sugar Ray. Okay, can I hold that? That's mine. That's something that he put together, Your Honor. Looks like he went to Hobby Lobby. Is this the sign you, you have put up? Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Is this the sign you had up in your laundromat? Is this what you're saying? Yes, and but that's not 7000 though. But my $7,000 sign is like huge no. and like it's That's said a sign that he just got here. This is my first time seeing that sign. He doesn't make sense. Okay. Just like when you called on I've heard phone. enough. I think I know what's going on. I'll be out in a second make my decision. Thank okay. you. Well, I thought it was a pretty interesting case. Yeah. See, I got a, per I got a Persian rug. No, it's a dog. But still, I, don't, I never dry clean him, just so you know. He, he might shrink. <laughs> doesn't like starch. But really interesting. It might be a language barrier. I don't know. But we got a, an audience here that saw what happened in this case. And you have a question over here. Yes, well, who's the question for? Uh, my question is the plaintiff. Okay. Aren't your customers important to you? Customers are really important to me, so I always try my best. And that's why I called her, and I, I'm, as you said, I'm really aware that it's really important. That I was just angry because, you know. And, and by the way, this shirt used to be white. Thanks, Tyra. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> a joke. And you had a comment over here. What's your comment? Yeah. Sir, and what does the big sign say? Are you interested in taking laundry to my store? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I just think that William Hong should follow through on his advertising. I know there's, you know, obviously a, a, a language barrier here somewhere. And, you Between know, you and me? Well, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, but, um, you know, there's language barrier there. And, you know, we don't all understand exactly what's, what he's saying. But I don't even think he understands what he's saying. Well, that's, a good, that's a good point. We don't know. But I know who understands what they're saying right now. That's Judge Extreme Akeem. And he's going to have a decision for us right about now. All right. You were the one sue and you had the burden of proof to do it. You didn't bring any evidence. So there's no credibility to that. Now they have counted sued you for the damage you've done to the rug. You're legend that they can't sue you because you were releasing them with the big sign. You know, that's one of my pet peeves. You go into a store, they put up a sign, and they think they can do whatever they want. They don't want to accept any responsibility, and it's one of my biggest pet peeves. And it's not going to work in this case. You know why? Because you're in this courtroom. In this case, the bat of justice and the verdict is going to the defendant. You have put out advertisements that you can clean, that you can get out stained. So in this case, I'm going to make you pay them the $1,200, but that's not enough. I'm going to allow them to go to your house, make as many stains as they want, and you are the miracle cleaner. I want to see you get it out of your house. Now, that's justice. What about my, my sign? sign. $7,000 sign. Coming up next, the defendant gets revenge. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Why you You're watching Eye for an Eye. You didn't bring any evidence, so there's no credibility to that. The bat of justice and the verdict is going to the defendant. <laughs> Well, the judge's ruling, of course, was for Cindy Jones. And let me tell you something about Cindy Jones. This woman knows how to come prepared. Look at, she's wearing like the bat utility belt with chocolate syrup, paints, ketchups. She is ready to do some damage. Look at, goggles, army hat, and I think those are camouflage pants. I tried to get a pair myself, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Taro, ooh, Mr. Miracle Cleaner, he has got his work cut out for him. I don't think this guy really thought we were gonna come over there to do damage, but we're eye for an eye. We are crazy. So, uh, Taro, what do you think, pal? Can you, uh, can you get the stuff out? I mean, chocolate too? I still, I still want, I have new evidence at home, and, uh, uh, don't use this chocolate one. Uh, this is the one I'm 
my wife is still in there. So if you if you cross the line, you know what happens, okay? I, I have green belt from Taekwondo and and I specifically tell you which furniture you can put the crazy yeah. thing on. I, I think I won. People are just jealous of the sign of my business, you know, seven thousand dollar sign. Now the judge did rule to Taro that one room we get to destroy. I mean, let's face it, Taro, you ruined her rug, and that was a nice rug. I'm not talking about her husband's toupee. I'm talking about the living room rug. You made a deal. The ruling stands in court. We get to destroy. I am here. Oh, what a nice play. I like this room. Yeah, you need to get out of the way. I, I won, though. No. Yeah. Can you take it easy? Can you... Oh! Hey! The thing that's hey. funny about that is the painting's worth more now. You can't be doing that. You can't be... That Come on, chug it, sir, Cindy. That's... Chug, 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 chug. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. That's... Chug, 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 chug. Michael. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh! Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Look at she's cleaning the mouse. You know, if we play our cards right, we might, we might actually get a cat fight, too. Hey, stop, you can't be doing that to me! You can't be doing that! You can't be doing that! You can't be doing that! Hey, hey, hey! 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 Hey, hey, no chocolate. No chocolate. Did you hear that? Can we play that back one more time? No chocolate. No chocolate. No chocolate. Artificial name. My laundry technique. But no chocolate. There you go. Chocolate laundry. Laundry no chocolate. But artificial thing, my laundry. I want to get this corner here. Oh no, look at that. She's playing around with Tyro's contact lens. What are you doing? I'm messing your rug up like you did mine. No, 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 no! What are you doing? I'm messing your rug up like you did mine. No, 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 no! What you do to my hair? Oh, I forgot one thing. Get back, 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 get I'm telling you, Cindy went into that place like she was Godzilla. Well, I know part of the reason why I wanted to be on TV was like, you know, we want, you know, we wanted to advertise our store, but we never really knew that this was going to happen, and I just completely ruined everything, and including my business, which was Broadway and Tinker Line, the corner of Broadway and Tinker Line. Oh, People can come. I feel pleased, and now he can work the Miracle Worker cleaner on his carpet. You're going to see me in court. I'm going to be Yeah, we have new evidence. Next to Thursday, Judge Akim will say, we win. Oh, 
Uh, you can see Cindy Jones later this month on Martha Stewart Living. We advertise anyways. Well, let's face it, Cindy Jones got her revenge and she feels good about it. And Tyro, hey, he lied. Miracle Cleaners cannot get out all stains. And he even admitted that he just got on the show so he could get free advertising. Well, it backfired, Tyro, and now you're paying. Today, justice was dry clean only. Until next time, I'm Kato Kalen for Eye for an Eye. We'll see you. Keep watching. 